gum disease or periodontal disease is an actual disease much like diabetes. Uh, it's bacterial invasion of the teeth and supporting structures and uh, it is the body's natural response to fighting uh, that bacteria. So the body sends lots and lots of cells to stop that invasion. Um, in that response, we do lose supporting structures, uh, the, the gum, the bone, around the teeth, and that's what will cause people to lose teeth due to periodontal disease. The body's trying to fight this chronic disease it attacks the tooth and the supporting structures and that causes destruction of the periodontium, um, the, the bone and the ligaments that hold the tooth in place. Once the tooth starts moving, it gets very hard to stop that. Uh, eventually what will happen is the body's trying to remove this infection. So what ends up happening is the, you'll end up losing the tooth. Um, the periodontium can finally heal itself after the tooth is gone. Um, but if this keeps, keeps happening, um, that's one of the main reasons people end up with dentures. So the first sign of gum disease is, is bleeding. Um, it, it's, it's inflammation in the gums, and, and we know that healthy gums don't bleed. So if, if you're brushing or flossing and you see blood in the sink, um, it's one of the first signs that, that you need a checkup, you need a dentist to, to, to make sure that, that what's hap what you're seeing is not actual disease. With gum disease, usually there's not a lot of pain, um, but there are signs you can watch for. Uh, loose teeth, pain when eating food, bad breath, all of these kind of combine uh, to, to form the signs that, that show that periodontal disease is advancing. Um, the best treatment for periodontal disease is in the early stages. Uh, if we let it go unchecked, it gets very difficult to save teeth. If you don't get your gum disease diagnosed and treated, you definitely will lose teeth. You can lose a few or you can lose all of them. Um, the, the best part about that is losing teeth is preventable and uh, we can treat gum disease. Um, there are different ways to treat that. Uh, we think we found the best way to treat it for patients. We know that gum disease will allow this bacterial invasion to enter the bloodstream and it goes to the heart and to the brain and gum disease is actually a better indicator of heart disease than, than cholesterol levels. Mm -hmm.